the right rectangular pyramid. A pyramid is a solid 3D shape that has one apex, which is a point or a summit like a mountain. This is a pyramid. As you can see at the very top, there's a red dot at what is called the apex. We name the pyramids according to the shape of their bases, very much like very much like prisms. This pyramid has a rectangular bottom. So we call it a rectangular based pyramid. The height of a pyramid is the distance from the apex to the base and it must form a 90 degree angle. This red line I drew forms a 90 degree angle with the base and it stems from the apex so we call this the height. Another word for height is altitude. The slant height is the distance from the apex to the midpoint of the base's edge. So in fact this green line, which I call the slant height, doesn't go straight down from the apex down to the base, it goes down the side of the pyramid down one of the lateral sides as if it was sliding down this, the side of this pyramid. So just like in a right prism, a pyramid also has lateral faces. These are all the faces that don't include the base. The base here is green, all the other faces here are triangles, which I have colored orange. These orange faces are called lateral faces. So since the lateral face of a pyramid, since the lateral faces of, of a pyramid are always triangles, we can find the area by summing the area of triangles. So for example, given this pyramid with base AB and slant height S. The area of the triangles are base times height divided by 2 and there's two different bases, one of the base for the triangle, one of the bases is B, one of the bases is A. So the lateral area is B times S divided by 2 plus A times S divided by 2 and there's twice that so we just multiply by 2. Another easy formula is to just say, well, okay, I can just take the perimeter of the base, PB, perimeter of base, times the slant height divided by 2, which is the formula I've highlighted in yellow. Volume of pyramids. It's the area of the base times the height divided by 3. So what this means is if we were to take area of base times the height that would give us the volume of a prism with rectangular base in this case 2 by 3 and height 5. But since this is a pyramid we're dividing by 3 and the reason we divide by 3 is because the volume we can fill with a pyramid Right, the amount of liquid we could pour in there is only one-third that of a prism.